Well, well, well. What do we have here? I'm Geralt of Rivia. A warrior like no other. Your legend precedes you. How can I help? I'm looking for some information. Is this where I'll find it? Good question. I used to work for the lawyers Kadringer and Fenn. Satisfied? The names mean nothing to me, but I'll assume that's a recommendation. As a professional, you understand information has its price. I'll pay. I'm all ears, White Wolf. What's it like being a private eye? Lousy work in a town full of dirt and conspiracies. I spend most of my time spying on nobles and rich burghers who cheat on their wives. You can't imagine what people are capable of. I don't think I care to imagine. I recently followed Morton, commander of Faltest's palace guards. Heard of him? I don't think so. I saw him in the stables with two young pages. You wouldn't believe. I've heard enough. I'm all ears, White Wolf. I'm interested in the people who wear salamander pins. Just so happens I know a thing or two. Before I go on, I wouldn't mind knowing what your interest in the case is. I have some unfinished business. Join the club. It'll cost you a hundred orans. Here's the gold. Why don't you tell me all you know about the Salamandra leader? I've been working on that case for a while. Personal matter? Or a commission? I'll risk trusting you. Let me tell you a story. A happy couple once lived in Vizima. Ordinary as fish in a pond with a ten-year-old boy. One day the father returned home and was puzzled not to be greeted by his son, his dog, or the smell of dinner on the stove. He suspected nothing until he found the dog dead, shot in the muzzle with a heavy crossbow. He wasn't even sure it was his dog, but then he found his wife pinned to the kitchen door with a spear. He searched the house in vain for his son. The culprits hadn't left a trace. To make a long story short, Vincent Mice had to close the case. No witnesses, no evidence. Except six months later, a monstrous corpse turned up in a trash heap. Eyes like festering wounds, pale, rough skin, unnaturally muscular body. Everyone had forgotten the murder and disappearance. Almost everyone. See, the missing boy had one characteristic feature, a sixth toe. Only the parents knew about it, always had trouble finding shoes for the kid, and the dead monster had an identical sixth toe. The father has devoted his life to tracking down the murderers. I hope he finds them. Back to reality. This is what I've managed to learn. Azar Javed, a Zerikanian sorcerer, leads Salamandra. He's more dangerous than a pit of kikimores, but unfortunately out of my reach. With his contacts and resources, he's got almost free reign in the city. I got a taste of his abilities. Anything else? I suspect Salamandra has built a large-scale operation, with gold simply greasing the wheels of their political ambitions. They're conducting genetic experiments, dangerous ones. Regular thugs wouldn't have the knowledge or means. Who's working for Javed? Any guesses? The captain of the guard who dropped that investigation disappears nights. Maybe you can squeeze some information out of him. Is that all? We might have one more lead. The city guards detain someone who could provide information. The guards? At the city jail? Yeah. Find a way to question that prisoner. In the meantime, learn what you can from the guards. Count on it. People open up to me all the time. <laughs> His information could be priceless. Good luck. Know anything more about the Salamander prisoner? He may be one of the leaders. Though in this town, the guards capture pawns while the big fish swim free. We'll know for certain once you question him. We'll see. Uh, just one thing. I think you're being followed. Any suggestions? Wait here a while. Make them nervous. Surprise those who want to surprise you. I'll leave at midnight. Seems true. I assume the trap is set? Indeed. Tend to your tasks in the trade quarter. I'll leave the matter to our best agent. You dare challenge the sword? Touch me! Oh, I this! Your are 
Salamandra! You killed the cockatrice. On behalf of King Faltest, I grant you an official pardon. Finally, this absurdity is over. Take your belongings from the trunk before I sell them. And remember the reward on the cockatrice's head. Vincent gets very excited about trophies. Ah, I can finally relax. I'll inspect what we've confiscated here. Hmm, good quality gear. Strong. None of your business. I just. <laughs> Got a cold? <laughs> You're pretty green. Not so green, I don't know the best way to take Fistek. Fold back your skin and rub. Where? Where you can fold back your skin, Jethro. <laughs> if you buy Fistek from Coleman at the Hairy Bear, don't say I sent you. Why was the Professor released from prison? He has powerful friends. Let that be a warning. Don't annoy those more powerful than you. I should be like the city guards. Release criminals whenever someone shakes a coin pouch. Hey, you're still under observation. Besides, someone bailed him out. Completely legal. Who was this benefactor? No idea. Money was transferred from Vivaldi's Dwarven Bank. Impossible to trace. Drop it. I could get into trouble talking like this. I have questions. Ask. A parcel's missing from my belongings. But glad you're not doing extra time for it. We've confiscated it. Don't mention it to the captain. Damned thieves. <laughs> I have questions. Ask. If Foltest put a reward on the Professor's head, he must detest Salamandra. It's not royal gold. Privately funded. Interesting. There's also payments for Salamander badges taken from dead bandits. Who is this philanthropist? I can't tell you, but the sponsor's representative spends his evenings at the tavern. I'll check it out. <laughs> I have quest- Ask. Know anything about this Salamander prisoner? Why would I tell you? <laughs> the captain would kill me. Maybe I can persuade you. Powder would help.
day for this. St. Lebiota's Hospital for victims of the Catriona Plague. Only two stages after this. Old Vizima and Hell. Damn, I'm gloomy. Incredible. Vizima boasts a bad neighborhood. Welcome, traveler. I hear you buy jewelry. What if I do? Drink with me? Sure. Bad enough. I'm looking for work. Know who could help? I work for Louvarden, a wealthy merchant. He has many jobs. Thanks, that's a big help. I always help my friends. Ah. Uh. Farewell. Well, well. Swords on your back. White hair. You run away from a circus? No. Still a member. But I hear they're looking for you. Sharp tongue. Good fella. What can I get you? What's with all this betting? Common folks entertainment. Two toughs fight. We wage it on who wins. What do those nuts get out of it? Gold. Spectators have a laugh while the boys let off steam. If something goes awry, the dogs get some supper.
Damn it. Whatever you do, don't bet on the boxing. It's rigged. What do you want? Any rooms? Five orans. No challengers. Hit me, Chicky. Hello. Fancy a meal? Or have you another reason for coming? What other reason? There's a comfortable bed out back. What'll it be? Let's go out back. I was jesting. My man would tear off my head if I went with you. Maybe we should risk it. No. He beat me so badly recently I spit out a tooth. Anything interesting happening here? Boys fight each other. Some wager on the outcome. Sometimes they beat up visitors. Altogether boring. Bye. Greetings. Look who's here. Who are you? They call me Coleman. What do you do? I sell things, travel about. Like where? Swamps recently. What do you care? Just asking. You buying? You buying? Had a parcel for you from Harren. You had it? The city guards took it. Curses! Always happens to me. Maybe we can bribe someone. No grudge? Just don't offer to deliver my packages again, get it? See ya. <laughs> 